There's no way to predict what a deer will do when shot, and there's no cartridge that will drop one in its tracks every time. Unlike elk, which will run for miles if you don't do them enough damage, deer don't typically go long distances. Usually 100 yards, and sometimes a lot less, does it for them. On the other hand, if not dropped quickly, they may dive into cover so dense you'll either never find them, or you'll locate the animal only after it's spoiled. In South Carolina, I saw a whitetail buck run at the shot, not my shot, and vanish. Six experienced hunters searched for him for half a day, found no trace. In Alabama, a friend shot a buck that took off running. Despite being a highly skilled tracker, he couldn't find the deer, but he knew that he'd hit the animal fatally and didn't give up. He found it after a day and a half. So the moral is, the more damage you do with the first shot, the better things are going to turn out, at least for you. So which bullet will do this? And where do you go for advice? Not to your friends. The easiest solution is to look at the factory cartridge box and see if there's a deer on it. Or better yet, a deer and an antelope. This is the sign of a quick expander, and it is what you're after. Some ammo makers even say right up front for deer and thin-skinned game, or words to that effect. These bullets have thin jackets, very often feature fracture lines near the nose to help it start expanding, and either a nylon tip or a lead tip with lots of lead exposed. Browning BXR Deer Ammo, for example, says deer right on the box and has a deer's head looking at you. You can't get much more direct than that. The other way to go is to buy premium bullets. A premium bullet is made to expand, regardless, and penetrate, regardless. If I had been using Nosler partitions on that long-ago elk hunt, they would have expanded on the deer because the front half of the bullet is made to be fragile while the rear half holds together, no matter what. Over my many years of deer hunting, I've come to favor certain bullets, including both quick expanders and premium bullets. Here they are, in no particular order. Swift Sirocco. I am, admittedly, a bullet junkie. I like many different types, brands, shapes, and conformations. However, among my favorites and quite high on the list is the Swift Sirocco. They're wonderfully accurate, possess a high ballistic coefficient. Value and the thermal ballistics are excellent. With a polymer tip used both to initiate expansion, as well as to keep the meplat consistent sick in ogive and a boat tail, the Sirocco will retain a healthy amount of both its initial velocity and energy downrange. The thick, tapering copper jacket is chemically bonded to the lead core, so bullet breakup is absolutely no concern. It hits where you aim it, and kills what it hits. I've used it in my handloads for over 15 years without a single issue or lost game animal. Those hunters who shoot 7mm and 300 Remington Ultra Magnum will finally have the source of ammunition they've missed. But there are enough classic cartridges on this list that the Sirocco can be enjoyed by the majority of big game hunters. Swift A-Frame In case you haven't been paying attention these past 30 years or so, Swift A-Frames are a controlled expansion, deep penetrating, premium bullet. They are made with an extra thick, pure copper jacket and an interior wall that isolates a pure lead core in the shank from a bonded pure lead core in the nose. On impact, the shank lead bulges forward while the bonded nose lead mushrooms back to meet it. The result is about 1.5x to 2x expansion with retained weight of 80% or more. A frames generally shoot through, and if they hit major bone and muscle, they power through that too. They may emerge bent and mangled, but they'll remain in one piece to reach the vitals. I think the A-frame the best of all the big game bullets, and it works just fine on deer and spoils very little meat, even on close shots. It is not a long-range proposition. Nosler Partition Federal Premium Nosler Partition Center Fire Rifle Ammo utilizes the copper-jacketed dual-lead core Nosler Partition bullet that expands from the tip down to the copper partition to prevent overexpansion. The front half expands rapidly, creating wide wound channels, while the bottom section stays intact, ensuring deep penetration. The Nosler partition has been the standard of premium bullets for big game hunting for over 70 years. Federal Premium Nosler Partition Centerfire Rifle Ammo is manufactured under strict quality control using the finest powders, primers, and reloadable brass. In both its current extruded form and in its earlier screw machine form, it's been around since 1947 and was, for decades, the only completely reliable bullet around. I've never seen a partition fail, and I've never known a partition that failed. Hornady SST 
Hornady created this bullet size, and it can be used in several different rifle rounds, including all of the most common centerfire calibers from 243 to 308. People like this bullet because of its versatility. It works for everything from killing small pests to big game hunting. The bullets are high velocity, and they have an ultra-flat trajectory and rapid expansion. They can take down big game quickly if they are placed well. They are very aerodynamic, so they can shoot further than round nose or hollow point bullets. The boat tail gives it less drag through the air and less drop when it arrives at its target. In addition, the polymer tip gives it controlled expansion. This doesn't help at close range, but there is a big difference in the accuracy at further distances. The size, depth, shape, and polymer hardness control the bullet's expansion, which allows it to penetrate deep enough before the tip breaks up or deteriorates. This ammunition is considered a pure and high-quality hunting round. It is excellent for hunting, and it is intended for long-range shooting with a high degree of accuracy. Browning BXR Browning have now entered the ammunition market with factory ammunition, made under license by Winchester with Browning specifications. There are two main categories of bullet type within the centerfire bullet calibers. A rapid-expanding bullet called the BXR which uses a nickel-washed bullet with flat base construction and large matrix tip with extended width and length, and the BXC bullet designed for a more controlled and deeper penetration on bigger species, and uses an aluminium cap. The Browning data shows that the 308 Win 155 GAR load on test has a muzzle velocity of 2,820 heps for 2,737 feet slash holds energy with a ballistic coefficient of 405 and sectional density of 233. This is the company's dedicated deer and antelope bullet, and I include it because the whitetail I shot with a BXR went down, as though someone had dropped a safe on him. I've seen a great many deer hit the ground, but I've never seen one do it as violently, so I am intrigued. From my limited testing, it's not the most accurate bullet out there, but who cares? Judging by the snuff film on the Browning website, my experience was typical. I'll hunt with it any day. Thanks for watching the video this far. With that we have to the end of today's video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and also also share this video with your friends.